Every year, Good Samaritan Community Services in the RGV in Park, Texas, helps hundreds of kids ranging in ages 6 to 14 with after-school and summer enrichment programs. Uh, with the team building in Wichita, we have different activities that help them uh, figure out what type of things are needed to make a team work uh, so that way they can make their goals successful. Which college, uh, not only that I recognized in high school, but also on the college level, that even though we're in groups in the college level, that some people don't know what to do exactly in their group presentations. So this kind of helps them like, to get ease with themselves, so that way like, in groups they could actually participate and do their parts, so that way the goal that, they're, that they want can be successful. My name is Edgar Reyes, I'm 13 years now. Uh, this is actually my second year at the Good Sam, and some of the things that I like about here in the Good Sam is that um, we really have a lot of fun in the things that we do. Like right now, we just came from Zumba. It was really fun. And also, we were right now, we were watching a movie. And after lunch, we always have recess so we can stay in shape. My name is Miley Lopez, and I'm 10 years old. I've been coming to Good Sam's like two or three years. I like being here because it's fun and you learn new, new things. Football, soccer, volleyball, kickball, those are the fun things. When you come to the Good Sam Center and you watch the children as they participate in the various activities that are available to them and you see their faces light up with excitement as they experience something new learn something new, you know that these children are going to be better prepared for the academic challenges that lie ahead, the social pressures that they're going to be dealing with, and ultimately for college. Well, it behooves the business community to support this program because these children will someday be in the workforce. And because of the program and how they're benefiting from it, I have no doubt that these children are going to be better prepared to make positive contributions in the workforce and in society in general. We are giving these children a helping hand that they need to succeed in life. What I really like about Good Samaritan is that it not only, it's not only a camp where kids can come and have all, like, fun, but they all, and also like, do character development and build character to be better people, but they also get to improve in areas where it's very critical and where in the public system it's, it's going very poorly. So areas like math and science, which again are areas that not everybody's good at, here they get a lot of extra help. I have uh, three kids, their name is uh, Joshua Banda, Krista Banda, and uh, Raul Banda. And uh, they, they've been here, they, I think they started a uh, year before last year. And uh, ever since, I mean, they, they've, they've enjoyed it. Yo tengo dos niños en este programa, Karen Martínez y Arturo Martínez. La niña tiene 13 años y el niño 7, pero igual disfrutan el programa del, de la edad que sean. Incluso mi niña está triste de pensar que va a llegar a una edad en la que ya no eh, califica para el programa, porque ellos esperan con ansias que llegue el verano para venir a encontrarse con sus amiguitos. Aquí encuentran un ambiente muy agradable, muy sano, sobre todo. There's a lot to the arts and crafts. We try different things weekly. We've had different things. We try to use as many items. Think outside the box to tell the kids. Try to be innovative, creative, imaginative. We try to have them do, for example, one of the things they had to create through drawing, but yet they couldn't use crayons or markers. They had to go outside, find different items, and see what they come up with. Good Samaritan Community Services depends on the compassion and contributors that will have an immediate impact on the individuals and families served. Well, I think it's a remarkable, remarkable metamorphosis. And it really started over 50 years ago in San Antonio under the guidance of uh, the diocese, the Episcopal Diocese of West Texas. And it was a very difficult couple of years. But when people saw the value particularly to kids at risk and young people, um, they all of a sudden said, wow, you know, this, this is something really worthwhile. And so uh, the support of the Good Sam uh, process and program has really been pretty astronomical. And we're just very fortunate to have this program here and far at Trinity Episcopal Church.
I would just like to invite those that are touched by the message of Good Sam to, uh, to really make contributions, time, talent, and money, uh, because it's an important program. And the thing about the program, too, that's exciting to me is it's, it can be replicated. It can be taken to other parts. We're developing the template along with the leadership of Good Sam in San Antonio, and it's being taken to other areas of the state with a great deal of success. So it's a successful model. We're not reinventing the wheel. Good Sam spent 50 years developing it. And so please, community, continue to support it. Children in this community are being nurtured in a safe, fun, and educational environment. Thanks for helping.